Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Vanna White, my uh, ProMaster uh, high top van. It's a 159 wheelbase, and I've been traveling uh, for about two years in it. Um, and my dog Banjo, who is standing below me, uh, has been traveling with me for about a year. Um, so let's check it out. Welcome to Vanna White. Uh, this is my kitchen. Um, so over here, I really wanted to have a deep sink and I'm very glad that I went with that. Um, mostly it just holds all my dirty dishes until I actually clean it, but it's just nice to have like a super, super deep sink. I tend to wash my hair in here a lot. And so it's nice to have that. Um, I put it here because I actually also use it as a little mini kind of rinse off shower outside. I like the deep sink, but it has, it's a um, square bottom. Don't do that if you're building out your own van because you are never fully level and so it doesn't drain correctly. Um, underneath is a seven gallon gray water tank, my um, cleaning supplies, trash, and all that fun stuff. Um, over here is my pantry. So I just opted to do slide out shelves. Uh, I was scared to build drawers and so this is the next best thing, but it works out really well for me. Up here is where I store coffee, spices, dishes, some stuff for banjo, and uh, oh, one note for the uppers, I did install struts, which I love. Um, they were scary at first to, to consider putting in, but really like having them, uh, the, the doors stay open. Uh, I have my little fruit hammock here, which I like, and then I just opted to double this up as um, my paper towel holder and just repurposed uh, this little box that I had before for more um, uh, spice storage. And I actually have a uh, Velcro, uh, heavy duty Velcro to the wall, which is nice. And then I have my little magnetic knife holder, which I like. Um, and then over here just houses um, Banjo's food. Uh, I have a camp stove and an uh, induction cooktop that I use interchangeably. I know it kind of seems silly to have two, but I tried to get rid of the induction and found that I wanted it. So I have the space. I also have um, <clears throat> the WeBoost hub in here. It's just mounted in here. And my batteries actually also kind of bleed over into this uh, cabinet. So just kind of make sure that that all lives together nicely. Uh, so for water storage with my sink, I actually have a 22 gallon wheel well, well tank that lives under my bed, which we'll look at later, um, that just routes over into the faucet and it's just cold water. I don't have a, a hot water heater. So I cook, I would say almost every day, um, not always with the stove, but I would say five times a week or so. Um, I opted not to mount it because I didn't, well, A, I love my countertops because I made them, um, but B, I... I wanted the counter space. I have a lot of counter space here and I use all of it. So I just didn't want to have like a whole stove right um, in the middle. Uh, I will say sometimes I wish I did have it fully mounted and I've considered doing that. Uh, I'm glad I waited though, because I didn't, I ended up not loving the induction for full-time um, cooking because it just was zapping my battery so much. And so if I were to install, I would put a propane two burner um, on there, but I don't know that I want to cut into my counters. Yeah, so the counters, um, I bought a, pretty large slab of beetle kill spruce and um, kind of processed it myself and sanded it or planed it down and um, really didn't treat it much other than like a water-based sealant and put resin um, all over. It was a labor of love, uh, not an easy project. It took me way longer than I thought, but they turned out really nice. I love the live edge. And it's probably the most proud project that I have in my van. So I love them. So I've always been interested in van life for as long as I can remember. Um, I think it actually started in like an obsession with just tiny homes and tiny building. Um, this is probably, I want to say 10 years ago. And then at some, like probably down the rabbit hole of YouTube, probably saw my first uh, van build and just uh, kind of piqued my interest. I thought it was awesome. I did a lot of road tripping um, around that time and kind of escalated and just kept going out more. And it was always this dream, but I wasn't sure if um, connectivity for work was going to be enough for me to do the, my job on the road. I've worked remote for a really long time. 
So I was kind of scared to take the leap. Um, and then I actually hiked the PCT in 2018 and it was amazing. I uh, came back and I just couldn't, like my skin was crawling being in um, an apartment. So I just decided that now was the time to do it. And I was a little impulsive, honestly. Um, my sister pointed out that there were a bunch of vans down the road from where she lives in Colorado. So I called them and took a look at it and they had a couple that they hadn't listed. This is at a time when it was kind of hard to get vans. And I just literally took the leap and wrote them a very big check. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm building a van. <laughs> so over here is my dining nook slash workspace. Um, so on the, under this bench is my fridge, which is just the cooler style. Um, it's a Snowmaster. I got it for very cheap. And so I didn't really have a choice which one I got because I had a friend that just um, was willing to sell that to me for very, very cheap. Um, this is a table on a lagoon mount and I use it a little bit differently than, um, than how most people do. This is sort of my, when it's in a dinette area. And then when I want to work, I actually just flip it this way um, to have a really large workspace, which is huge. I work full time on the road. Um, and so this is a nice space for me to do my work. Um, then over here is um, my toilet that just comes out um, on a slide, which is really nice. So it's not it's very convenient. And above this cabinet is kind of a mess, but um, this is basically Banjo's cabinet. So he, he loves when I walk over here because he usually gets a treat. <laughs> this is more just of a junk. Um, like this is kind of a catch-all cabinet. Um, and then here is my, I guess you call it like bathroom vanity. It's got pretty much, you know, medicine cabinet, anything that you would ever need um, for, you know, kind of what you'd find in a bathroom. Over here is more of like a bedside table. Um, uh, I built this out, I, so I did the electrical myself and I wasn't a huge fan of putting um, wires behind walls. So I opted to use, uh, build this little energy hub and then made this little storage compartment which I love. Um, and then my good friend, Jill, actually painted that for me to kind of match my van, which I love so much. And here's some more storage um, out on the little sliders. This is kind of basically another catch-all, um, but it's really convenient to have. So for my wood paneling on my walls, it actually came from leftover um, wood from my ceilings. And the ceilings were what drove the whole design aesthetic in the van. I actually had planned on doing a lot more white and I'm so glad I didn't. Um, so the ceiling is, I believe it was 16 foot, um, half inch pine beetle kill, tongue and groove, and which is way longer than I needed. And so this, what you're seeing on the wall is actually just left over. I used as much as I could um, all over my van just because I thought it looked so nice. Um, so I did that and then the Tiling here is actually just decals, um, which I love. They're so easy to clean. I've never had any issues of like, bubbling or anything like that. And it, I like that it matches the, the shininess of my countertops. So we are in my bedroom. Um, I opted to do the platform style bed. I have a lot of outdoor gear that I wanted to bring with me. So I have a full size bed and I actually, um, framed it out so that I could get as much length uh, width-wise as possible because I am 5'10". So um, I ended up gluing insulation directly to the van wall and then just using fourth, uh, quarter inch plywood to make my walls in here. Um, and then I just kind of held it all together with this little framing system that I built. Uh, I love it, I fit, uh, which is really nice. It, it's a very nice space saver. Um, I installed this extra fan back here. So I have two roof fans and this fan back here and both um, ends have a sliding window. So there's a lot of airflow that um, can kind of get going uh, in here, which is very, very nice, especially the summer was so hot. So it's very comfortable. So these are clothing, um, which I find is more than enough than I need. Um, I have a little bit more of clothing storage under my bed. And then one addition I did make to this space, um, you can't really see it, but I have a, a reading light that I installed uh, maybe six months ago. Did, the one thing I didn't do with lighting is I didn't put a switch back here. So if I'm in bed and want to go to bed, I have to get up, go to the front, which I know it's not a, small, it's not a big space, but it's kind of annoying. So I did uh, install this little reading lamp, which was nice. 
Uh, so underneath, I just built uh, sort of a throughway to my garage. And so what I've put up here, um, laundry, some shoe storage, uh, my little Mr. Buddy heater is up there. Um, I do have a luggable loo as kind of a second option for my toilet, which I know it seems a little silly to have two options, but I find that it's just a lot easier. Um, and that's it. So I think the trail prepared me. Actually, a lot of what I learned on trail, I still apply um, to, you know, living in the van, like water conservation, all of that. Um, it was actually amazing. I, I, I thought it was really cathartic to just get rid of everything. Um, my first couple van loads of donating clothes, like it got a lot easier. Um, so I just got rid of everything I owned. I was really excited to simplify um, and get in the road or get on the road. Uh, the first couple of weeks were a little bit like uncomfortable. I just didn't really know how to do it <laughs> like because it's not really camping. Um, there's some hybrid. Um, and so I, I definitely felt like I was, you know, like a little baby deer kind of learning how to walk the first couple of weeks and didn't know if this is for me. And then once I kind of figured out, you know, how to find camping, how to find water, um, just all of the little chores that you have to do, um, it, it's pretty awesome. I honestly can't imagine anything else right now. Uh, yeah, so I plan on doing this until I just am not enjoying it anymore. There's definitely been times when it isn't fun. Uh, this summer when it was just smoky and 95 degrees everywhere you went, it was not a good time. And there were definitely times where I kind of questioned whether or not I wanted to keep doing this. I felt like I was sort of battling this lifestyle a little bit. But with anything, um, I feel like out here it's the highs are way higher, the lows are way lower. Uh, I just got off the road for you know, rented a room for a couple days and kind of reset myself and it's definitely not time to quit yet. But yes, I mean, I'm still having a blast. Um, I cannot imagine living in an apartment at this point, so it'll probably be a little bit. <laughs> So up here uh, above the cab, I basically use this storage for towels, extra blankets, sweaters, um, some shower stuff, uh, which ended up being a nice little happy accident because this is kind of where the hottest part of the van is. So using all of my, just shoving up all of my, um, you know, fluffy items actually insulates it really well, um, which keeps it nice and cool. And then I also am using um, blackout curtains, which I know they're very dirty, uh, don't use light colored uh, curtains. Um, this also helps keep my van nice and cool back here. So it's always a lot cooler uh, back here than it is up there. So it works well. Uh, so for the ladder, this is a Prime Designs um, no drill ladder, which was really nice. So I just tried to put as few holes in my van as possible. Um, so it just clamps to the top and bottom, which is so easy to install. I really like it. Uh, I use the ladder mostly to check connection, like my WeBoost connection, uh, clean off my solar. I'm terrified of heights though, so I don't use it all that often. <laughs> Usually I try to bribe a friend to do it for me, but it's nice, uh, nice to have the option. Every once in a while I'll go up and sit up there, but coming down is a little scary for me, so. <laughs> so my garage is mostly outdoor gear and tools. Um, over here is the, basically my um, electrical hub. Uh, so I have a 2,500 watt inverter, um, a 60 amp uh, charge controller, you know, 12 volt, all, all the fun stuff. Um, this area is my tools and shower system. So I use a Julka hot tap, which eventually I'll be um, mounting to my door to make it a lot easier to get to. This is my shower jug. Um, you know, shower curtain, everything that I need is right there. Uh, this section is mostly camping gear, backpacking gear, like some smaller stuff that I, you know, need on my backpacking trips and stuff like that. Uh, I have my mountain bike that I rarely ever use. I need to get it out more, but I have it just a little um, mount right here to keep it in place. And then over here is my water. So this is the, um, the 22 gallon tank and I just keep my hose and filter on it um, at all times. Here's a heater that I have yet to install, so that will hopefully be coming in a couple weeks. Uh, over here is my pack area, so my backpacking and um, hiking packs, and just kind of, I use them very frequently, so it's just nice to have it here. Uh, so for solar, I have 400 watts. Um, 
It's four 100 watt panels. Uh, I built it to where I could drop in two more and my whole system would work. That's why I sized up on my uh, charge controller. But I don't find that I really need it, so I'll probably keep it at 400. Um, and then I have 200 uh, amp hour, like two lithium batteries, uh, which I love. So for work on the road, I've actually, I'm still doing what I've been doing for a very long time. Uh, I am a marketing consultant, digital marketing consultant. So I work with several clients, uh, helping with marketing activities, and then I also build, uh, like for small businesses, small clients, uh, build websites um, for them as well. And so I've had some of the clients for years pre Vanna White, and for years, you know, the last two years. And it is interesting. They they always say like it's, it's shocking that I'm still doing the same level of work just in a van. Half the time they're like, "Where are you right now?" <laughs> and they, they it's it's interesting because it. it I thought it was going to be something that was an issue and it's something that they actually think is really cool. So I'm on Instagram at the Darling Dirt Bag, uh, and that's where I post most of my stuff. Um, so you can find me there. And basically just follow Banjo and I around uh, in all of our adventures. Uh, I think the biggest thing is if you're thinking about doing this lifestyle, do it. Um, if you're nervous about building out yourself, just dive into it and just trust that you'll figure it out. I think it's it was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's the most proud um, thing that I've, the, I'm the most proud of this space. Um, I, I just talk to a lot of people, especially women that are like, oh, I could never do it. And you can, um, you just have to kind of have a little blind faith in yourself. And basically it's like, I couldn't fail. And so just get out there and do it and hope to see you on the road.